Welcome everybody to the Career by Design webinar, Tap into NU Source, hosted by the Northeastern University Office of Alumni Relations. My name is Diana Bronchuk, Program Assistant of Career Strategy and Education Initiatives. Accompanying me is Michelle Rapp, Associate Director of Alumni Career Strategy. I'm thrilled to be presenting this mini webinar on our brand new working platform, NU Source. A new source is exclusive to the Northeastern community where over 1,000 people have created an account and are already willing to give their advice on careers, resumes, graduate school applications, entrepreneurship, and more. Our goals today are to show you how easy it is to find someone with career and educational experience you aspire to have, contact and schedule virtual meetings with them, and of course, grow your network. I'll be in the platform the whole time so you can see the step-by-step -step process in action. I'll answer questions at the end of the presentation, so feel free to type them out in the chat box in the right-hand sidebar. Let's get started. So for signing in, in order to create a profile with NU Source, you must log in through your Northeastern credentials. If you've graduated recently, these credentials are the same as your student one. If you need any assistance with creating and or finding your username and password, you can email nusource at northeastern.edu. We will put that address in the chat box, the description below, and in the recorded email. After signing into your Northeastern credentials, you'll be able to start creating your profile. So here we are at the home page. Here you'll get the quick links to your inbox, your profile, see recent pro posts in the discussion feed as well as in the different groups. But what I really would love to show you is down here at the bottom, the recommended for you section. Here you will see the top three people that meet the criteria you're looking for. How to update those preferences right here in matching preferences or take the matching quiz if you've just started. Here you can update to wherever you would like more searching more people from, such as the industries and the cities that I just did and the, any help topics. And so here are my top three. And as more people join the, join the platform, I recommend that you always come down below and just see who the top three are this week, or maybe, because they might be different from the week before. But anywho, let's go into the Explorer community so you can really see the growing network that you can tap into. And already, it is, seg it is categorized by the different preferences that you've looked for already. Look at all these smiling faces. But really, what's quite easy here is this search bar. Here you can search people based off of this certain location, industry, specific company or organization, and more such as the help topics that people have already selected when they were creating their profile, like graduate school and professional school applications, informational interviews, and resume and cover letter critique. Already, I have 23 exact matches from what I'm looking for. And just by looking at the different profiles, if you see somebody whose headline already matches something that you're looking for specifically, you can add them so that you can see them on a special tab later. You can also see similar matches that might not completely fit what you were looking for, but are probably pretty close. However, if you want to get more or get notified when more people fit this search, you can set a search alert here so that you can get email notification when more people sign up. All right, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to message somebody. So I'm gonna go into my start section here and I'm going to message Michelle Rapp. First, I'm going to go into her profile and let's just take a look at her profile. Wow, she has a lot on here, well experienced, has great detailed information. I think she'd be perfect for me to talk to. I'm going to hit the Let's Connect button and request a meeting. Remember those help topics I just said? Well, she already she already clicked on the ones that she has the most expertise in, showing these blue ribbons. 
So this will just give me, give her and me a better idea of what I want to talk to her about. Now I'm going to choose online video call because any source has its own video conferencing platform. So no personal contact information is exchanged. And I can see that she has uploaded and linked her calendar. So these are all the availabilities that she has. So here is a personal, here I can craft a personal message. You can see on the right hand side is a feedback bar that will give you some special tips and some special tips to make sure that you're crafting a well, a well message. However, we recommend they already write out a message in a separate Word document and just copy and paste. Something to note, if you wanted somebody to review or critique your critique something, you can add an attachment like your resume or cover letter. The message was sent and the meeting has been scheduled. You can see these more in your inbox up here, the upcoming meeting. So when Michelle confirms or accepts, she'll write back in here and I will get email notifications promptly. Now, let's talk a little bit about profiles. I'll go right back into Michelle's profile. Like we said, she has a lot of detailed information in here. And it's also very important that you do as well. How you can update your profile is click on yourself in the top right hand corner. And here you can see your own. As you can see, I basically have a lot of information here as well. And I've got my LinkedIn profile, my LinkedIn profile too. However, due to LinkedIn's own security reasons, not much is transferred over. So we so take this opportunity to when updating your NU source profile to also update your your LinkedIn profile as well. And it's easy to edit just by clicking on these little pencil marks up here on the top. So once you have an updated profile and you've been messaging people and you've been messaging people and searching for them in the explore the community, why not try to find like my like interests and like affinities in the groups tab? Here you can search based off of affinities or in certain industries like civil and environmental engineering affinity or nonprofit. Just another quick and easy way to find more people that align with your career and educational aspirations. Well, once you go into a group, you can not only see the members that are already in the group as well, but you also have your own different discussion boards. As you can see here in the Black Affinity Group, there's already been some postings about the really cool and awesome events that are coming up. Of course, if you don't see a group that meets your need, that meets an industry or an affinity that you're a part of, you can also propose a group by following the information here, which is just emailing me and we can and we can get started on creating that group. Now, if you have just a general conversation if you just have a general question about careers and or industries or you want to share your own content, I recommend that you go in the discussion, the discussion board here. As you can see, we've already posted stuff about our upcoming virtual one on one career coaching sessions. But some people have already posted their own work, such as Andrea Mascarenhas, who is a blog, who owns the blog at her desk. Here is her article on how to prepare for meeting with your manager. So of course, if you have any questions or you're lost on any source, there are resources available, such as, video, such as videos on the specific topics and links to frequently asked questions. So now I would love to take your own questions about the platform. And while I'm waiting for your questions, 
I'm just going to show the different groups here. But really, this platform is simple and easy once you get the hang of it. There's so much that you can see and so much that you can filter through. I guarantee you, no matter where you are, you can find somebody from Northeast, someone in the Northeastern community. I mean, just look at this map here. Who knew, your who knew that your global network was this large? We did, of course, but now you can see it for yourself. And for those of you who've already created a profile, why don't you search, why don't you go in there right now and search for somebody to talk to? Okay, this is Michelle. We have a question on the map view. What do the colors represent? Great question. I'll open that up right now. So the map view, the different colors just kind of give you an idea of how many people on the platform are there. So as you can see, the blue is kind of low number, yellow, medium number, red. We have a pretty large population there. So, and of course, the little one red dots here, such as in the Dominican Republic and Mexico City and Guatemala is just one person. And Diana, can you explain the password you said? So I already had a question about signing into a new source. So you will need to go through your, your Northeastern login credentials, all right? With the login credentials, it is a username and password. And if, and you, and if you have not created, those, created that, certainly email nusource at northeastern.edu. We will have to give you your NU ID and as well as, further, as well as further instructions for creating your username and password. Diana could, you, um, Diana, could you walk us through like another search, like just take us through if we were doing a sample search for someone, maybe someone in the audience could suggest what kind of person they'd be looking for? I definitely can. Does anybody have any suggestions or bridges? Well, for example, I don't know of anybody. I don't know how many Massachusetts folks there are here, but I want to go somewhere that's a little bit warmer. Why don't we go to San Diego? All right. So it's within a 20 mile radius of the location, and maybe we'll do some advertising PR, but. I'm not that difficult. I'll look at civil engineering, maybe construction, and hey, we'll throw entrepreneurship in there as well. Just going to make sure that I hit applied here. So maybe there's no exact matches, but I have some similar matches here based off of the different industries that they're in, as well as where they are located. So Dublin, California, San Jose, we have somebody who works at Ad8, who is a co-founder and entrepreneur in New York. Now I'm just going to clear all. But if I'm looking for somebody in a specific company, let's say I want to work at Amazon, I can click on is current, meaning that their current job, current job is there at Amazon. And I see that there's five matches right here all from a variety of different places. Look, Madrid, Spain, that's cool. That's definitely much warmer than Boston. And one thing I wanna mention is we are in the process of growing the site. We launched it 
um, in February. So what may happen is you might be looking for someone and the numbers of people might be lower than you would hope for. So we expect you know, to get another thousand people in here over the next few months. So the more people that join, the more effective this will be. And we will also eventually be rolling this out to students. So I think that that's gonna also create a lot of activity on the site with students reaching out to you as alumni. Great point, Michelle. So that's why it's also pretty important to set these scripts too. So then you can get email, email notifications, you can set the frequency so that you can get updates from when more people match your criteria in searching. And we expect to be adding students to the platform probably in the early fall. All right. And for those of you who are part of our co-op regional mentoring program that is also housed here on NU Source. And you can definitely look at the alumni relations website to learn more about the application deadlines for that mentoring program. And we will send everyone a link um, to the site if you're having any password issues or reset and all that, we'll send a link out um, after this webinar. And we're going to do a last round for questions. Um, Dan, are faculty included on the site? Yes, faculty and staff are invited to, jo to join a new source. Um, you can, can you also demonstrate, did you show people the share if you want to invite other people to the site? Uh, yeah. So here you can share by sending a referral link by email. You can create the little message here. You can copy it as well as share on major social media accounts like LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. So we encourage you to invite classmates. Um, if there is a faculty person that you want to connect with who's not in there, you could send them a request as well. Definitely. The more the merrier. I'm also going to just add the troubleshooting link here. So if you're having password issues, um, don't know your nor Northeastern credentials, um, it's alumni.northeastern.edu slash Northeastern dash account dash troubleshooting. And I've posted that into the chat. One other thing is um, we are very open to suggestions of potential groups on the platform. We would just need to evaluate that in terms of whether there's enough interest to run a group. And we also like to find someone who's willing to be one person for that group to try to keep it active. So we also look for the number of groups on the site to grow. All right. If there's any last remaining questions, feel free to email the nusource at northeastern.edu address. But really, nusource is your, is your key to tap into the power of your network, your Northeastern community. As you know, Northeastern is constantly expanding and growing and becoming, a global, becoming more and more of the global institution. And nusource is already a community willing and Setting their, putting up their hands to help. Regardless if you are changing careers, just starting a new job, want to go back to school, or you want to give your own expertise, this is the platform and the community for you. So we've enjoyed showing you this, showing you the brand new NU source. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at nusource at, at northeastern.edu. And thank you so much, and we hope you have a wonderful day.